uh, yeah, so Challenge Cup this week. Um, how is the Challenge Cup? You know, for like I like yourself and like Gears, how do you how do you think they uh, approach Challenge Cup? Is that your first question? Well, yeah. you've spent days thinking about that. You've gone for weeks over at Huddersfield, nice. and that's the best you can come up with. I thought, I thought I'd give uh, other people an insight. You know, it's like because obviously I've got the Challenge Cup over there. Do you know what I mean? How do you? Come over in, like play at grounds like Oldham and that. It's a bit different, you know. So it is. Well, you should know a bit about it over that way, shouldn't you? Really. So uh, yeah, no, it's a great distraction. I knew I'd throw you off. <laughs> He's going to get me there. <laughs> I know nice. you were a bit nervous about nice. your first week, uh, but yeah. Hey, listen, it's it's a tricky game. It's going to be awkward. Um, Oldham are playing well at the moment. They've had some good results. So. You know, obviously, the whole KR uh, game was a massive one for them. Uh, I think they've said you know, it's best in their recent history, and uh, they've also knocked off Sheffield and Featherstone. And we've had a look at them, a decent look at them, and they're a good, good team. You know, and they're they're going to be tricky on that a small pitch, a smaller pitch than the norm. So, and they'll have a home advantage in that respect. They'll know how to play that pitch a bit better than us, but. Uh, we're still standing a pretty strong team, and uh, you know uh, we've got some some people in there getting their first opportunities as well. And you know, like yourself and a few others, that uh, I've got a bit to prove and point to prove, and you know, let the coach know that you should have been there for all the time. So mm-hmm. you know that that's that's great, and we've got some real good experienced players that that are going to be there to lead us around, as you mentioned, but. Um, I'm looking forward to the second question. It's going to be even better, I reckon. Yeah. So, um, you know that this year we've had quite a good year. This, this year, what could you, um, what could you account it to? You know, like we have had a good run. Obviously, a couple. Of... A lot of things. A lot of things. There's never any one. It's not an easy one to answer in terms of. It's a culmination of plenty of things and maturity. You know, maturity of some of your younger players. Um, you know, some off-field changes as well. I think have been significant as well and um, in terms of you know, restructuring of some of the staff uh, that have really you know helped us has come along in JC and you know that's been a real big one for fitness and as a as I think you would agree and but just the maturity of some of you younger guys and I think we've gone to a different level but also the recruitment of a, you know, I think players like Gids and mm-hmm. You know, then Ash has stepped up big time this year in terms of leadership as well. And, yeah, there's just a different vibe about us from the start. And um, sometimes that's just a process that takes some time to come through. We weren't far off in the last couple of years, but we're going through some rebuilding. But some of, some of it was a little bit much for a few young players. Yeah, um, this is probably like the most difficult question to answer. Like, obviously, last month was a tough month. Um, missing me, how did the boys cope and yourself cope? You're not been out for a month. <laughs> I know we've been in tears. Yeah. You know, been in tears leading up to most games. <laughs> sorry, that's understandable. I mean, I, I, I'm sorry to be laughing such a, you know. Yeah. Down a serious question, and it's been quite sad, really, yeah. without you. Hey, oh, the you boys did... have said the boys have messaged me saying when you're coming back, it's been yeah. tough. Yeah, it's probably been toughest <laughs> on me out of all of them. You yeah. know, I've probably missed you the most. No, they seem pretty okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's good. Um, hey, listen, um, you know, and I've said this publicly, and and I think it's right for people out there to to understand. Um, you know, you weren't quite getting a shot prior to Easter and and there were some teams that were looking for players on loan and it was hard not to say yes to them prior to, and we couldn't prior to Easter because we just had those backlog of games and you know, you and I had an agreement where if we you got us through Easter and, um, and covered us there, if you hadn't got in the team by that stage that uh, I said I'd get you out on loan and you know, I had to keep my word and you trusted me on that, and I think it's been the right thing to do. Um, even though you probably would have got an opportunity the week or so after you left, uh, but that, that's just the way it goes sometimes. And you know, I think you've handled it, you know, very well. And I think Huddersfield have handled it very well. And I think, you know, um, from the club's point of view and my point of view, it was important that I kept my word to you as well. Yeah, um, I think I'm done. Hey, right. yeah. How you tell me? Uh, how do you? How has it been for you? The experience of going out on loan, 
I, I was just speaking to her, she was speaking to the press then, and he, and he said to me, um, so what's it like taking a step back? And I, I said, I don't think it was a step back for me personally, it was, I think it was a step forward and it was a step, another step in my development, and I think it's mm. good. Because I spoke to you and I think sometimes a change is good because you, you can get stagnant when you're not quite playing and you need to like, yeah. you need to get that little bit of like motivation back and because it's easy, it's easy mm. saying it in your head but you need to go and actually practice it and, and live it and I think the loan, the loan for me personally has been a good thing because it's just made me have a bit of fire in my belly again and want to do like want to like do things like where yeah. you're just training week in week out it, it's it's tough and it's part of the game but it's tough on you like mentally sometimes but I think that's part of being a a more well-rounded professional is how to deal with them situations like going sure. on. Um, is, is it fair to say it gives you a bit a chance to get your confidence back in in your own ability and yeah. practice? Yeah that's to- totally because I think when you're playing Super League that's you only playing Super League and with a squad like we've got and the depth in squad that we've got, um, it, it's, it's more difficult and it's to get in sure. because when you're going so, so well as, as you have been going, yeah, you have to be realistic, you know, about yeah. about um, your situation. So yeah. that's why I was grateful when I got the opportunity to go on loan and that you, you, you let me go on loan. And yeah, but I think it's good to be part of a team. And I've been a team that's full of like quality players throughout the park. Then be given an opportunity when it's not really like we're granted. Whereas yeah. here, you're playing Super League at this club. Then do you know what I mean? You're not you're doing you're, something right, so yeah. And there is, and there's a lot of competition, and it's hard, and it's difficult to fit everybody in. And early in the season, we weren't getting injuries, and we weren't getting, you know, too many people giving opportunities for others to come in. So it can be difficult, but uh, it's been, yeah, I, I'd agree. I think it's been a good experience for you, and uh, there hasn't really been any negatives. Uh, for for any party, so I think it's been a successful one. But it's good to have you back. We can dry all our tears and get on with things now. <laughs> yeah, it's good to be back. Good man.